Hello? Hello? Oh my goodness, I am very excited today. <clears throat> oh boy, I am, I am so excited. This is amazing. I have been compiling 78 for uh, a while, if you will. For years, and uh, a good uh, coming on some of these 78s, 10 years, I guess. And uh, I've got this player, it's amazing, or not. Either way, no, it's cool though because I can play these and uh. Can you hear me? Probably not. So I just thought that I'd put this back here in the background. Maybe go make myself some coffee. Just listen to this for a little bit. Probably can't hear that that well. That was, uh, that was, uh, Jingle Jangle Jingle, uh, by Kay Kaiser and his orchestra, and, uh, Harry Babbitt, Julie Conway, and the group. So, this is one of my old ones that I had already been collecting, so, uh, I guess you can't see, but I got a bunch of records down here, I'm gonna go through them. But, uh, I want to tell a little story. And I sure hope you can hear this. Because, uh, 
That's a pretty good story. I went to poke. Uh, I went to Pokemon. I went to Perky Omenville yesterday, and uh, <clears throat> so I'm out there. I did a couple little videos just to show everyone the uh, sky spray. You're gonna put a um contrails uh, thing at the bottom for me saying that. Anyhow, um, so. This guy pulls up. I'm all kind of set up pretty much, I think, and he just pulls up, and he's like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, hey, what's up? And he goes, uh, I got this uh, record player, and I got these records, and they're heavy, I guess. I don't, he didn't really say that, but he was just like, I just, I, uh, I've had them for a while. I tried to find somebody down here. Nobody was interested, I guess, kind of what he said. He was talking to one guy, I guess. And, uh, so I come over, I said, does it work? He says, yes, it works. I'm like, I looked through a couple titles, um, just to see what we got here with his, uh, these cool, uh, labels here, Decca, and, uh, there was an OK in there, and, uh, let's see, here's, like, Jimmy Dorsey coming up, maybe, and, uh, oh, man, just, uh, Ella Fitzgerald. Woody Herman, Ella Fitzgerald, <laughs> and, uh, let's see, I was playing some of these yesterday, Larry Clinton, I think I might have played, no, that, they're not the ones I was playing, okay, I was playing these ones in the back, there was a couple of cool ones, uh, maybe that one, that one's, that looks good, and, let's see, Blue Lou Bait Barker, Lulu Barker, anybody? Decca, uh, Contrast, Jimmy Dorsey, uh, let's see, Button Button, I don't know, I mean, this other guy's like, oh yeah, well, you got some comments, it's Bluebird, Bluebird, that's a good label, right? Yeah, the labels, uh, Tisket a Tasket, I guess these weren't the ones I was playing, but these are some good ones for sure, but, uh, let's see if I can figure this out. See, I was putting these here. I don't know, I guess I got them out of work. Anyway, there's some good ones in there. So, I'm going to throw this one on. So I can go uh, fix my coffee. This is uh, Dick Robertson and his orchestra. And the song title is... Let's Sail to Dreamland. So, number two on today's uh, hit list. So check it out. Now, we've got the uh, telescope there that we haven't quite got set up yet. We're gonna look at them stars. Uh, I've been looking for, with binoculars, so that's good.
It's pretty good stuff. There's no doubt about it. It's fantastic stuff. It's for you and me. We'll dance into it free. And that will be the day for us. Alright, so. I want to tell you all about the dreamland. And this record I got, yeah. And the story I want to tell. Uh, no, but, um, so the guy, uh, sells me the record player. I'm like, yeah, cool, whatever, you know. I don't know. I wasn't really super excited, actually, at the time, but I was, too. I mean, part of the story was that I already had uh, spent a good portion of the change I had brought on the table charge, which is $15, and then I spent another five on this. Five bucks is pretty good, but uh, whatever. So, guy drives off, but he kind of was lingering there a little bit. He didn't drive off completely, so I was like, a little head scratcher, what's going on there? And, uh, so then, like, within about a minute or less, this other guy walks up, and he's like, oh, look at, you got that record player? Like, he doesn't look at anything else, really. He's just losing my record player. Oh, you got this record player? How, how much you want for that? I said, I don't know how much, what, I don't really know. What would you, uh, want to pay for it? And he's like, uh, well, let's just give me a price, just cost. <laughs> so I, I just let me, I was like, all right. I mean, that was a paraphrase. He said something else, but. Whatever, I was like, all right, well, um, 20 bucks. And he's like, oh, come on, uh, 20 bucks. Like, uh, I, I said, I don't even really know for sure if it works. The other guy did tell me that it did work, but I was I was like, I'm not really even sure if it works. He goes, oh, oh okay, well, I'll take a chance for five. I'm like, hmm, I don't think so. I, you know, it's, I didn't say anything. I was like, why not, you know, are you going to be around? You know, stop back on your way. So, uh. I didn't want the five dollars, so then I, I plugged it into my uh, my van there, and I was playing these records right there. And so I'm gonna do uh, Jimmy Dorsey and his orchestra, and this is uh, Deep Purple. You might recognize this one. I might as well. Oh, 
So that's it. That's uh, that's what I do now. I don't play records. Just gonna play them all day long. Play them for you. Play them here. Play them every day, all day, all the time. Or not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. These are pretty cool, though. It's deep purple. Seriously, that's amazing. Oh man, what about this? Fate. It was fate when I first met you, written by Byron Gay. And, uh, okay. let's listen to this one. Thank <laughs> you. 
fate has been kind to us two, and I knew it was fate when I first met you. So fate, it was fate when I first met you. That's a Foxtrot, a vocal chorus by Bob Eberly. This is a Decca. But anyhow, um, this guy was, uh, and I got this other guy, he was, uh, I was talking to him about the records, I guess, and uh, he's like, oh yeah, there's commons, right? Yeah, I mean, they're all like commons, I got like hundreds of these things at this point. I got, I got some really good ones downstairs, which I'd really like to bring in, uh, bring up here to the record player, or bring the record player downstairs one of these days. And, uh, so, uh, maybe this is, maybe I'll get into this for a while, instead of, you know, Flat Earth or whatever. But, um, ba -dum -ba -dum. Yep, that's the one we just played, I think, so, that one This is a Decca. Anyway, uh, put this back here. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's pick that one back here. Here's one on uh, Vocal Lion. Vocal. Oh boy. Vocal. Vocalion. Vocalion? I don't know if I've heard of that one, but as you can see, it's a uh, taint what you do. And I thought that was kind of a really. Uh, per uh, Odd title there, uh, but uh, in parentheses it says it's the way that you do it, and it's Oliver Young written uh, written song, Jimmy Lunch Lunsford and his orchestra. It's a four five eight two. I don't know if you want any of this information. It says it's a full range recording, and the chorus is James Young vocal chorus. Foxtrot. So I think I'll play this. And maybe that'll be the last thing I play on this video because I think I need to finish this one up anyway. Although I had some ideas. So I might uh, do the ideas that I was thinking about, which I had written down in this piece of paper, which is, I was also reading the Bible. Thank you. 
I'm back to you with that one chance to go. Oh, it's not all. Don't mean a thing. Don't mean a thing. Make it easy. Please say. Then you die to swing. Oh, it's a fun to get to say that. It's a fun to get to say that. It's a fun to get to say that. records I got yesterday have uh, like printed on the sleeve but it's not the same record so I have to either go through these see if any of these are the same different whatever but I mean that's a sorting job on these records but uh, I wanted to talk about we'll close that down This might be the only other video I do today. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do a bunch of laundry today. So I might put it. I might do a laundry video. I've been thinking about. It. I also want to do a video on my uh, playlists. But I don't know if I'm gonna get to these two. Those would be the other two if I were to do two more. But I'm just gonna. I've got two up. I've got one from yesterday, which was nice. I don't know if you saw that one. Probably not. I don't really have an audience exactly. I have about 16 subscribers right now, so. I'm still practicing. I'm practicing talking, and uh, I couldn't even imagine like what would happen if they uh, asked me to come on Saturday Night Live and host or something. I don't think I could do it, mm, but uh, I think that uh, a lot of people wouldn't think I'd be able to do it, but um, you never know. I hear some uh, noise, so maybe I should shut down or maybe I should... Um, Fold this um, this uh, blanket up. Fold the blanket, make it nice. Uh, I gotta admit, I often take naps uh, during the day, a little bit, or whenever, like late uh, early afternoon, and. Uh, 
I like this blanket. It's pretty good. Well, I'll watch it maybe a show or something. And, uh, <sighs> use this blanket. It's pretty good. Right, put that up here. Maybe put that there. Let me think. Is that good? This one's already still on there. Let's just see here. I could do like a little echo. Or not. I go over here. I was trying to get these preferences. Can't seem to figure it out on here, so I can't turn the volume up, so I guess I'll just keep it like this. It's probably be better. And if you can hear me, great. If you can't hear me, just gonna talk for a little bit so you can probably turn it up. No more loud music. We get my coffee. I got this mug and then I have a mass shirt, but it's like medium and it's been a long time since I've been in a medium, so I probably wouldn't fit me. Maybe I could put it on. It's just for fun. Larf, lark, um, typo thing. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll show you um, things I've learned from Mash. How to eat a Jeep, if you have to. So I want to read some stuff that I wrote here, and a little bit of it has to do with the Bible where I am here. At, uh, I'm at, uh, I think I'm still reading uh, Genesis uh, 9. That's where I'm at. I started at the beginning, and I'm reading right up to there. So it's about 10 pages or so, about 10 pages or so it looks like. Let me see. Nine pages into nine pages. Anyway, this doesn't have to do with that, but um, some of this might, I don't know. Let's see. I think I might be a shill for the system, but people can change, right? Uh, YouTube, I, wanted, I was thinking about it, that would be a good YouTube title maybe for a video. Uh... So, six sets of uh, ritually clean animals left. Noah and his family. And no others. And that's it after he came in. But the thing I was saying here was that... Let me see if I wrote this down. So I wanted to upload that second record player video. It was the second one I did yesterday, but I wanted, didn't want to upload it yesterday, so I uploaded that this morning. So check that out. It's about a little over a minute. I think I put it in my uh, my my rock playlist um, where you can see some of my music if you want to call it that. Some people will, and some people might not. I want to do that. Um, let's see. Oh, I was thinking sky spray. The spraying, the reason they're spraying the sky, perhaps, and uh, this is just, you know, who knows, but is so they can uh, use the particles to electrify the sky. Or another thing was uh, they spray areas where they want to cut down on. Uh, the people's growing, the re regular population's growing ability, or the population's growing ability, and then they don't spray where the bulk of the food is being produced. Um, I don't know if this is happening. This is total conjecture, and uh, no, it's total, uh, just, it's a hypothesis, I guess, maybe you call it. I don't, I don't know, it's just an idea. I not trying to say anything for sure. I just came up with the thought. But um, God created day and night on the first day. And on the fourth day, 
uh, and then on the fourth day, what what gives there? I'm like, what's the difference between the types of day, light, or light and daylight? Like, uh, I was noticing that Jubal is uh, maybe the ancestor of all musicians, maybe, but I mean, they they specify, but I mean, you know, who's the guy for the other musician, music, instruments, and so forth? Uh, so then there was a flood. What about the fish or sea life? You know, talk about the sea life after the flood and what. So I assume there's uh, sea life. So what about that? And uh, only ones left were Noah, his family, the animals on the boat, and something else, perhaps. Yes, sea creatures. So that, um. I guess that's it. That's all I had here today for that. So I think that's it. I think I'm going to stop. So thanks a lot. Take it easy.